Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, may I suggest that you go back and watch the previous video to this so that you have a rough idea of what the plans are with the van. On today's video of the van build, I will be removing old graphics from the exterior of the van. I will be removing the interior part of the van as well as the bulkhead and then giving it a good clean. So welcome along to Berserker Build's Peugeot Boxer Van Conversion. So as I said, I'm going to have this hot water steamer, let me just get up, hot water steamer, I'm just going to sort of let it steam around these vinyl graphics just to lift them up so I can remove them and then as it's being removed I'll use the sticker remover that I have to get rid of all this grub. So I'm doing this bit now on a separate day, which is why I've changed. Uh, unfortunately, it's quite overcast today. So I'm hoping it'll be bright enough that you'll be able to see everything. I've got all the doors open just to let as much light in as, as I can. I do have a separate light as well, which I might plug up there just so I've got a bit of extra light while I'm working. So the plan now, is I'm gonna take this out, these out, probably the bulkhead and hopefully if I've got time the ply line in as well. I'm just going to strip it all out and give it a clean. So the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to take up this carpet mat thing that they put down on this 18mm bit of uh, ply. I'm hoping I'll be able to keep some of this carpet, cut it sort of that way. As you can see there's holes certain bits so I'm going to try and keep cut it that way so that I've got a, uh, like a, a, an extra protective mat just in the front. I'll probably only use this camera for this bit because I'm going to just be working in here backwards but when, when I start taking all the other bits out that's when I'll start using the extra cameras. Let's go! So it, what they've done they just stuck it down with some mastic or something. So I'm hoping I can just sort of peel it back, see how they've screwed this in, and then just take it out. I'm hoping it'll be quite straightforward today, but it never is.
okay, and that's what I'm left with. I can't actually tell how they've attached this. I thought they would have screwed it. I can't actually see that screw in there. I don't know. I'm not really sure how they've done this. The screws on the joint there. Hmm. Just attack the fuck out of it, I suppose. Okay, new plan. Looking at it, I think I'm gonna have to just try and pry it up. But these bits of wood here are uh, stopping me from lifting it. But now that I've took a bit off, I can see that these aren't actually attached to anything. I'm gonna attempt to pick these out now and see what I can do. Okay, so believe it or not, this second one here on the left hand side uh, came out a lot easier than the one on the right hand side. All what was in this one was two big screws and two thick bolts. That's all what was holding that one in at the top. So that came out easy. The next step now that I'm going to take is I'm going to try and take out this shelf. Um, just because it's blocking these. So I think if I get this out, it might be easier to sort of try and slide these just out the back of the van. I think they've used every type of bloody screw known to man. I'm gonna to have to change this head so many times. They just snap in. And that one. 
I know what will fix it. If it doesn't work properly, do it the berserker way. So now that I've taken all that out, and I've done all these bolts and screws and whatever else was used to attach this, it's quite loose now. Should be able to sort of just pull it out. I'm gonna try. Probably would be best having a second hand to do this, but I'm gonna try and do it by myself. Sort of, as long as I'm keeping it low enough. So it's not going to catch on that because that's actually cooler than that, so it's going to have to be on an angle. I'll be able to take that out and hopefully then it'll uh, work on the boot here. That was surprisingly easier than what I thought. Um, I'm not going to bore you by doing the same on this one. The only thing I will note here is the shelf in the back is connected to this. So I'm going to have to dismantle that, take that apart, and then do the same thing again, really. Now with the uh, van being stripped more or less just down to the ply lining I'm going to take the bulkhead out or attempt to take the bulkhead out so these guys have like hexagonal bolts which keep these fit into place so uh, again I'll learn as I go process so in order to do this I've got the hexagonal uh, drill bits just, just to take them out really
Okay guys, so I came back home because apparently I need to get some extra tools. Um, these are tools I don't actually have on me or at home, so I'll be lending them. I also had to go purchase a TX40 Torx drill bit for these. Um, I thought a standard allen key type thing or hexagonal allen key would do it, but no, I needed to go get a um, TX40 drill bit. They'll just basically just unscrew them, they come out, and then what a lot of people tend to do is they tend to just sort of like just drill in here with a metal bit and just sort of like gouge the hell out of it but if you get like a um a, a gripper like an urban gripper type thing from what i've uh, been able to see on my little bit of research is you can sort of grab it and twist it and that should release it and then you just unscrew it like a screw so i'm going to go get those bits now uh, I won't bore you with any more footage of me sort of just pulling stuff apart and then screwing stuff. So the next bit that you'll probably see will be, well, when the bulkhead's out really. So what we did, because the uh, gripper wasn't working, we got a grinder and just cut it vertically down. And then we've released it basically just to make a um, flat head screw and then I'll unscrew it. And this is what we've got left now. I have to clean down these bits. Somehow we patch these up. I'm not too sure how we're going to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of The Van Bill. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. In the second episode, I will have taken out the ply lining and add in sound deadening as well as insulating it. Thank you.